And every song is different. Some, some of them you struggle with them for years. Um, but some songs come as little presents. And they're rare. But some of them come together, like where everything kind of comes together. Um, usually when I write music, it starts with um, melody and rhythm. So it won't be actual words. It will be just be like a, a rhythm, mostly, uh, with, with some notes. Um, and sometimes it's lyrics. Sometimes it's just the word that I love. Um, but with Dancing on My Own, it was one of those things where the melody and the rhythm and, and some of the words kind of came at the same time. And I think it was because, because to me, Be Mine and Dancing on My Own are a little bit connected. They don't sound the same, but they're, they're connected in the chord structure and, and the way that the chorus has like two parts. And, and I think I'd been touring with the first album for a long time and I had been marinating on this kind of language for a while. And, and, and Dancing on My Own kind of came out of that, I think. And so I had this idea that I brought with me to the studio with Patrick Barrier, who I wrote Dancing on My Own with. And we started playing around with chords and synthesizers. And it all just kind of happened. I don't know how to explain it. It's close to magic sometimes when that, when that hits you. I mean, I read in another interview from around this time where you were saying that part of the emotional intensity that you wanted to get into your songs was that kind of emotional intensity that you have at 15, 16. Mm -hmm. So like these, when you really fall in love, you fall in love. When you're heartbroken, you're heartbroken. Mm -hmm. You can tell that from the, the songwriting as well. Good. Is part of that, <laughs> I wondered, um, because also you were quite busy at 15, 16. Is this like, is part of this cathartic process? Is like you're revisiting emotional spaces you maybe didn't get to visit the first time around? Yeah. You mean the first time around with the first albums or the first... At, at that age. At that age, yeah. I mean, who knows? The unconscious is so mysterious. But I think that after living a few years now, not that I'm old, but I'm getting older, I feel like when you look back at those, when I look back at like te my teenage years or whatever, it might have been things that happened then or a little bit earlier, but it also might have been things that happened when I was super small. Like I feel like it's, there's so much inside of us, I think, that we don't, have access to. And then when you're in a very extreme or desperate or sad situation, there are little messages that pop up and sometimes you're able to catch them and make a song out of them. Um, I've written a lot of sad songs, yeah. And um, do, do you... sometimes people ask me like, what happened to you? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. But I think, um, I'm a fan of, of when, when there's like light and dark at the same time. And when there's just happiness or just sadness, it just gets boring. Like that's so predictable. And the, the magic to me is when there are lots of things going on at the same time. That's much more satisfying. And, and, and that's, what I, that's what I'm drawn to when I make music, I guess.